welcome back to the channel make sure to drop us a like we're sitting at 798 subscribers that is awesome thank you so much for everybody's and everyone's support but we are trying to hit the 800 mark now once we hit the 800 mark we're going to go to the new video that i just made about three days ago and that was the red dragon k552 keyboard now you guys need to check that video out because you can also enter in a chance to win a free rgb gaming keyboard all you have to do is leave a comment below in that video subscribe to the channel leave a like share the video tell all of your friends roommates and cousins because we need 800 subscribers and once we hit it we will raffle off that we will raffle off that keyboard and we'll raffle off to all the people that left a comment in the video of the k55 keyboard so make sure to go and check out that video and leave us a like so what to do with old keyboards well as you can see here i stuck mine on the wall and i put it in full rgb rain mode so that way it just kind of runs through the keys and stuff um, it's not functional because well it's not hooked to a computer of course but it is pretty to look at i would have to say i definitely think it's pretty to look at but i also wanted to hide the wiring so what i did is i incorporated this black line thing and then if you want to do this too all you need is a five volt just like a, a cell phone charging block and then just plug it in that way and there you have it it will run now what we're using hold on, let me turn that light back on now what we're using to hold that keyboard up on the wall is 10 pound this is industrial strength double-sided velcro and one side sticky and so is the other side this stuff works great, holds up to 10 pounds. But be warned, anything you stick this to, like a wall, it will pull the paint from the wall once you go to remove it. So like if I was to try to remove this keyboard, it would pull the paint from the wall. So that's the only downside to this. It is what I use to basically hang everything in the room. Um, two of my best videos is the um, the Pathfinder vaporizer and how to remove thermal paste from a CPU. Uh, the vaporizer video has 11,000 views, and then the the other one. Uh oh, it looks like something fell. Yep, it fell, and there it is, laying on the floor, broke. But you see, this is why we have backups see this is why I carry backups so when that happens I can fix it so we're talking about this free keyboard right this is the this is the free keyboard that I mentioned it's a MPET K10 gaming keyboard um, it's water resistant has multiple functions to it hot keys it's USB 2.0 and it has multiple colors so that works good let's let's take a look at it yeah it's actually very clean it does have a braided cable that's a nice feature a braided cable uh, has a Faraday dot or a, oh crap what do they call it I can't think of what they call those I know what they are uh, anyway moving on but yes it has a nice clean effort look steel look it is metal construction um, there's the proof right there that it's metal. It did pass its grammy. I wonder if the keys, oh, look at that. The keys do remove so the keycaps can come off. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's turn it on and see what it looks like. This thing is pretty. Check it out. Um, and then this is the K Dragon. Yes, I know there's a keyboard hooked to the computer. Uh, very brilliant. It looks good. See, I like that. I like that underglow look to the keys. Those look really good. And then on top of that, the keys, they they pull away. See? So you can replace them or put new keycaps in them. Or you can clean it that way too. Okay, so let's try the LEDs. Alrighty. Let's see here. Green, yellow, red, green, yellow. Red, green, yellow. Hmm. 
and I did read somewhere where there was some software that you can put into it and according to this there was some uh, different features you can do like you could turn it up and off yes but that's what the keyboard looks like all lit up I do like how they have the MPT part lit up that looks really nice um, directional it's just um, regular switches in it silicon switches the green gaming mat really has a good appeal to it it really helps with the bling of it but we can also change that too see purple red and then RGB flashing so yes make sure to leave me a like guys thank you for watching